West Central Alabama, the heart of Dixie, looking forward to today's exciting game. And now we bring you the coin talk. We're done by Nissan. Innovation that excites. South Carolina is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Flushed down, and he's going to get sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. again obviously not the drive they were hoping for but they're going to have to do something about the pass rush if they want to move the ball consistently fourth and long here after the sack he puts it away and it's a great kick He's taken down at the 49. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's scrambling, and he is drilled at the 43. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 43. Up the middle for a nice game. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Here they come, and he hits him hard at the 40. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackles him hard at the 27. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's got an opening. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. Now he 
tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 40. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Hale was the intended target on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 22. They go with the run. And they make the stop at the 22. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Bernard, the return man. Booming kick. He's to the 40. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It's this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. He throws left, and he dropped it. the ball carrier and down he goes right around the 20 short yardage situation here it's third and one deep ball laying it out there They'll go ground. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Run 
Ball on the 17 yard line. And he's immediately tackled. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires quickly, touchdown! These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight play, 57 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, seven nothing. Alabama kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Scrambling around. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 38. Makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. First down. Here he goes. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 47-yard line, first down. Brought down around the 44-yard line. He's on the run. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. And he's leveled at the 38-yard line. They're crowding the line. And they'll get him in the backfield. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Alabama up seven points. And he's taken down at the 47. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. Tackle made at the 41.
Goes over the middle, intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and 10, off the 26-yard line. Just throws this one away. Makes it out to about the 40. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Throwing right. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. 7-0, Alabama. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Bernard is back to receive. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama is up seven. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. From their own 17-yard line, second down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings us third and 10. around the 23-yard line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 35. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. out to his receiver and he's tackled in the open field. Bring up third and two. 
It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Hands it off on the delay. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. He's taken down at the 31. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. A touchdown away from a tie. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. South Carolina is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. On the ground, up the middle. He fights forward to about the 36. Fake, looking to run. Decides to slide. And he got about six on that little scramble. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. And he is drilled at the 37. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Oh, excellent punt. 
He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Got it. Complete and he's out of bounds. From the 45-yard line, first down. Good outside run there. That makes it second and six. Sanders, left side, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. And so it's another third down upcoming here. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Here's the halfback. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball in the 23. He's got it with room to run. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. And I think the quarterback that time didn't even see the linebacker. I think he was so focused downfield trying to read the safeties in the secondary that by the time he came to his receiver that was being guarded by the linebacker, I don't think he saw him. The linebacker made a good play to be able to knock that ball away. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 49. A seven-yard pickup on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. From the 
from their own 20-yard line. Second down. He passes it, and that one's fallen incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. He fights forward to about the 20. So they try to fool him with the run, but the defense was all over it. Great job here by the defense to penetrate the offensive line and get to the ball carrier before he got too many yards. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He wants it all. It's going the other way. There's a missed tackle. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 12-yard line. their own 12-yard line. It's second down. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. That makes it third and three. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 34. That makes it first and 10. From their own 34-yard line. It's first down. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. South Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Incomplete. We've played a half. We get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for you? Well, it's it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All 
All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Had his hands on it and dropped it. From their own 25 yard line. Second down. They go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. Throws incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at about the 49. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle at the 40. Haynes on the right side. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 39-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 30. He's on the run. Slides down. The quarterback thought he saw a little bit of running room, but he made a good decision to get down in a hurry. From the 27-yard line, second down. He's taken down at about the seven-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they make the stop at the five. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. This is the eighth play of this drive. To the right. Tackle made at the four yard line. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Got his tight end touchdown. And he 
converts the extra point. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a team seven on the play. That'll bring up they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. It's the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Tosses left, intercepted, and down he goes at the 49-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 49-yard line, first down. Alabama is up seven. They'll bring him down at the 48. He fights forward to about the 46. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. And he's tackled at about the 31. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's hit and taken down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Alabama up seven points. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 19-yard line. Miller gets a carry left side. He makes it to the 18-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive.
good protection. And he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it fourth and down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Alabama is hoping to make this a two-score game. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 27. talk about a dual threat guy this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground that makes it first and ten. quick throw out to the receiver brought down around the 47 yard line that's a deep line on the play that'll make it second so it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Bernard is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 16. This defensive end is having a very good day. I think all great defenses have a player on their side of the football that kind of inspires them. And I think it's very clear that this young man has provided that for this defense. Yeah, with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can as long as The way he's playing is not representative of how the entire defense is playing, which is understandable. They're facing a tricky opponent. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 14. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 19-yard line. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. That makes it 37. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. Come on. Fires it out. They bring him down in the backfield.
It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. 17-7, Alabama. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. So we're just about ready to return to action. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. It's second and 12. Ball on the 46-yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. They can't hear a thing down there. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. So with the penalty, they've got third and a mile. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Bernard waiting the return. He fields the punt at the 13. And he's tackled at the 19. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 36. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. Now he's flushed and they got it. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. Scrambling around. He knows how to run. He's at the 40. The 10. First and goal coming up. He's knocked down after a big game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Taken down at the one yard line. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Crimson Tide.
short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Out of bounds at the 29. That makes it second and so it's second down and about two yards to go. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's stacked behind the line. From their own 26 yard line. Third down. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Bernard is back deep to return the punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. For South Carolina, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also have gotten them to turn it over twice. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, their outfit has been dismal so far, that's for sure. When you have a bunch of negative plays, it drags you down. And for Alabama, they've been unable to connect on any long pass plays. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 47. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. Second and five. Ball on the 39. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and two. There's a strike complete, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. He laterals the ball. Makes it out to about the 10. And down he goes around the 11 yard line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. 
And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good to be five yards. That'll bring up third and six. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. They'll bring him down right around the 10-yard line. That is a loss of four yards. That'll make it go to 10. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Less than three minutes in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30. Now he tries to buy some time. Dives forward. He scrambled. And he's tackled at midfield. That brings up second and one. Pressure coming. Going long. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense, but the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Rifles it left. It's going the other way. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. the middle it's first and ten ball on the 30 yard line they go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield up with the final score 27 to 7 Alabama
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.